Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you with a little bit of a hiccup issue. Yeah. So, you know, hiccups are just a part of life. Sometimes it could be a setback, sometimes it could be a hiccup. <laughs> and so, <laughs> glad to have you with us. Yes. So, we are so glad that you guys are here and we do pray that you are um, just encouraged by. Um, what the word is sharing today and we're going to be kind of covering over just this last week or so particularly over the feast of tabernacles and what god was speaking to mm, us during that time good stuff happening there yeah and um so very exciting to talk about that and also we just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who gives who has continued to give um as we are uh, supported by people <laughs> at this point of yeah, our life, and um, and so just God's huge, been faithful though, hasn't yes, he? Yes, extremely it's been faithful. So faithful. I mean, our our support literally dropped off by like eighty percent, and God's like, I'm not worried. I got plans. I saw this coming. I told you it was coming. If I told you it was coming, does that well, am I giving you? Oh, you should panic. This is what's happening, Devin. No, the Lord tells us these things ahead of time so that we can be prepared for them, so that we don't panic. He said not to panic. <laughs> okay, he said not to panic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and so, um, but yeah, so it's just amazing to see how God continues to just provide, and mm -hmm. um, but we also know like so many of you just give. Um, even out of your own need and For it's real. just such a huge blessing and we got um, stuff from someone in North Carolina do you understand what I'm trying to tell you two gifts yeah from I, I'm like I'm like uh don't you need this and she's like don't worry about what I need you just take it I'm doing what the Lord wants me to do and I'm like okay yeah <laughs> and so um, that was a very divinic translation but whatever <laughs> Yeah, so we just appreciate each and every one of you and um, truly just pray blessing over your life um, as you follow the Lord and are led by Him, um, whether it's giving um, to us and what God's doing in our life or it's just through your prayers um, or even as you give to other um, places and wherever the Lord directs. And it really is about... Um, Turning this off. Just following the leading of the Spirit of God. And if He does lead you to give, um, it's just, it's truly amazing awesome. and blesses us. Yeah. But um, yeah, there is just, if you can or God leads you, that's really great. But if you can't, that's totally fine. We just, yeah. we know that the Spirit of God just moves in different ways and different times and seasons for people's lives. Um, yeah. But our hearts is this that when we share, you're able to get encouragement that this would help you in your own walk with the Lord um, as you go forward. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, that it's just a blessing to your life um, yeah. to hear what God is speaking and saying in ours. Yeah. Um, so, did you have anything else you wanted to share? Nope. So, no, like I said, we are praise support. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so <laughs> since we are support based, we do have the PayPal link, of Venmo, and Cash App all below. And if you would like to give, you can just click there. And someone gave to us through Facebook. I don't know how you do that. But someone gave to us through Facebook. And I was like, how in the world? I didn't even know until I actually checked. Because I don't get on Facebook actually all that often. And, um,. But I recognized the name on my bank account. I was like, what in the world? How did you, how do you even know what my bank account is? You know, but it's like it was a gift through Facebook. And I was like, whoa, how do you do that? I don't know how, but apparently you can do that too. There's another way, a fourth hidden door. Isn't four the number of a door? It's a, a fourth way of giving. It's the hidden way called yeah. Facebook, which I don't think is too so hidden. But anyway, <laughs> I just didn't know it was there. Yeah. So anyway, so a walk in the park. Yes. So mm. <laughs> I should just go sit over there. This is your video. I'm just here for moral support. No. A little cheerleading here, here and there. Yeah. So I guess he's going to talk most of the video. 
the guy who's been talking. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, so basically over this um, last week, um, there was the Feast of Tabernacles and that started mm -hmm. on really the evening of October 16th and continued through... Um, was through, it yesterday? It, well, yesterday was would have been considered the eighth day oh, yeah. um, of the Feast of Tabernacles. And so... Um, Coming into Tabernacles, it was really interesting because, you know, on the 12th of October would have been the Day of Atonement in the Hebrew calendar, and it was Yom Kippur. And there was just so much in the spirit that God was doing, and we talked about that in our last video about just the, the, the prayer at the mall and just, like, oh, God... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in Washington, D.C., and that God was just really breaking, having people break off spirits. And I really felt like, wow, there was some stuff that was done here today and, and just the prayer and the prayer of God's people. And so then we came into Sunday, and it was really interesting because the atmosphere really was, at least I felt this, like, shift. It was very quiet and kind of calm. And... Mm -hmm. We ended up talking about it that night um, in our God time, and I was just trying to describe <laughs> what I was experiencing or sensing yeah. from the Lord, but I got this picture of being reminded of, like, with a tsunami, like, if you are standing mm -hmm. at, on the shoreline and the water starts to just pull back. Mm -hmm. and it's just pulling back and you're just kind of watching it recede and it's just going back and back and you're going whoa that, this is weird what's this about run yeah <laughs> but I really felt like it's this sense of like the the tsunami wave of God's judgment is getting ready to come but it's mm, like we're just standing watching it getting ready to take place and it kind of goes along with one of our other visions where we are standing on this sidewalk where a parade is going by and but there comes this point when oil starts coming over our feet and a limo shows up and the a door opens and Jesus is there at the open door and he's like, all right, come on guys, like you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And we make our way into the limo right as this huge, huge. Wave, tsunami wave. It was skyscraper tall, like, whoa, this is crazy. Yeah, it comes, but we're safe in the limo and the limo represented the spirit of the Lord and it just takes us forth. And that's kind of what personally I feel like is getting prepared like it's just the sense that God is he's working something on one end and we're just kind of watching it we're just waiting and watching and in, in, in the spirit God saying like I am moving I am doing you might not think you haven't seen the tsunami yet you're not seeing the wave come yet mm -hmm. but notice things changing notice how the waters are receding and well and the idea is you get in a limo and the limo got hit by this and it just carried along and I'm just like why are we in a limo shouldn't you have picked us up in a boat but he's like, yeah, because a boat's going to go down the street nicely, isn't it? But, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, the idea is to, like, by the Spirit, we're going to be above the judgment of God. We're going to, he's going to lead us in such a way that we will be above it. You know, kind of like with 2020, the Lord was like, just keep following me. Just keep listening. Don't worry about all this stuff going on. It is going on, but he had us in a place where it literally didn't affect us. Mm -hmm. You know, none of us got COVID and, you know, we were, we were lacking uh, paper towels and toilet paper for a while, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, there's still wet wipes anyway. Yeah, and so it's just the idea of, like, <laughs> almost kind of similar to, like, surfing. Mm -hmm. Like, you're just going, riding the wave. And 
and or even with like Psalm 91, like only spectators will you be. Mm -hmm. You're you're not going to be affected the way that others are affected. Um, and that's just kind of the promise from the Lord for us. And it's like, mm -hmm. okay. And um, so we were experiencing that, but then we came into the Feast of Tabernacles and we really ended up spending the Feast of Tabernacles ended up being this time of a lot of remembrance mm -hmm. of what God has done um, it, over our journey and this particularly the last like seven, eight years um, you know obviously there's really a, a, an even greater journey for both of us but um, but the Part that's what Tabernacles what, is about, right? Just remembering what the Lord brought you through. Yes. Yeah, so Tabernacles is basically they typically will have their tents or booths and they put palm branches and things on top of the booth. And it's a time to remember the 40 years in the wilderness oh, yes. and, and look back at how God provided and yes. all that he has done. And I really felt like that's what we ended up doing during the whole Feast of Tabernacles. It became just this time where God was reminding us of things that he's done. Yeah. We were reviewed over, um, you know, just our journey here, particularly the last four years. And, um, and then even further back, you know, 2017, 2018, 2019, you know, and it was just like, wow look at how god has provided look at how god has just continually helped our hearts along the way and it was just this sense of look at what god has done and celebrate that and rejoice over it mm -hmm. um and and it was really a, t a huge time of god was really speaking to us about his faithfulness and like rejoicing in his faithfulness um and to continue in faith it's like all right i have been faithful just continue to believe continue oh to yeah. um trust me as i as you go with me um in in this continued journey mm -hmm. well yeah i it has been a i tell you what when you talk about the faithfulness and continuing right i feel like what was it like? What was September about? There was like this overarching theme over just September. To have hope. Yeah. It was. It was the fight for hope. Fight the battle for hope. For hope. Yeah. That wasn't August. No. Oh no. yeah, it was. Well, this has been like October. I feel like the overarching thing going on. The sky and the clouds of <laughs> of October has just been like keep going, mm -hmm. and it has been. Oh my gosh, it has been so hard to just keep going. It has been very difficult to keep going. I mean, really, like, like waking up, like, no motivation. I, I come to do my God times um, on, on, on this here computer. If this thing breaks down, which it's getting close, you'll be, you'll be seeing a Casting the Nets video, okay? But <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm sitting there, I'm just going... You know, you you, 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 you you see a prophetic number or you get this idea or something. And it's just like, yeah, yeah, I've heard it, heard it, heard it. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, heard it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I'm just trying to be real. It was like, it has been extremely difficult. But I just know this is what, that's one side. That's what, that's what's going on in my soul, you know? Mm -hmm. But my spirit is receiving things from the Lord. But it has to, my soul and my body have to cooperate to see what is happening in the spirit come into manifestation. If there's no cooperation, then God can be speaking all day and nothing of what he wants to do will happen. And so he needs people that are going to overcome themselves, die to themselves, let themselves go, and just do what, and that's what this is so many mornings for me, because I lead morning God time. It's just been like, okay, Lord Hero, I feel like you're saying this, I feel like you're saying that, and I'm just grabbing. You know, it's almost like your job is to go into this, this line of the orchard. You need to just 
the apples on this side or the apples on this side, you got to pick them. They need to be picked, you know? And you know what it's like to what a ripe apple looks like and what a ripe, an unripe apple looks like. Just go and pick them. You can physically go do that. Mm -hmm. You may not want to. Everything in your system is going, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. But you can do it. Mm -hmm. that's where the discipline comes in mm -hmm. that's where it's just like nope I'm just gonna go do it if I feel this way I can still reach up my hand and pluck something you know what I'm saying if I'm like yeah apples yes grab 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 you know what I'm saying doesn't matter how you feel um, you can do it and that's kind of been my uh, mm -hmm. you know and uh, Kay Nash came out with a word recently and it was just like she was like I know you're tired and but you've got to keep going i was like lord are you telling on me <laughs> you ever get that you get a prophetic word from somebody it's just like it's, it's no hi hey everybody what's going on how's it going it's just like hey listen i know you're tired but you need to keep going you got to keep going i didn't even really listen to the whole thing i, I mean I, I might have but whatever she said that was the part the lord was just like in your face you got to keep going you got to keep going and i was just like wow i was like man the lord will send stuff into your life to encourage you and specifically speak to you but mm -hmm. that's kind of been the uh that's been all of october for me really mm -hmm. it's just like you got to keep going and it's like i feel like i'm in that i don't know what mile it is where you feel like i am literally getting ready to quit this this race i'm gonna quit i'm done it is literally going to happen. That's what your mind is thinking. Even though your feet can keep on moving, mm -hmm. your mind is thinking, I am literally getting ready to be done. Do you know, have, have you heard people what people say about that? Or Because well, I know you ran a half marathon. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, well, particularly, I think if you're doing something like an ultra or like, you know, really, really, really long. Yeah, but usually this has there's been some, ultra long, brother. Yeah, this has been an ultra long <laughs> marathon. <laughs> but, I mean, I think a lot of times they talk about a wall. Um, you yeah, hit it I, around 20 miles and to 22. It just depends on your body. And that's really like a lot of the glycogen buildup type thing. And so you're just hitting this wall. All, but even when you do you know longer distance running they always talk about like you know you're f there's going to be different points there's the the physical aspect of it but then there are where you hit those mental barriers and it's just like you a lot of times you need um you need that encouragement that's also where like if you yeah. have somebody particularly for some of the the ultra things they're allowed to have somebody maybe pace them for a while um and mm -hmm. it's like that pacing partner becomes very important and i feel like for us there's just been times and i think that's where um other voices other prophetic people like in different seasons of our life it's as if they're pacers you know they mm -hmm. come alongside you and just encourage you and just kind of yeah. keep going keep going and well, i feel like throughout our whole journey we've had a lot of those kinds of people in our lives as far as just you know online like you're saying like a k nash or like lately for me it's been like joseph z i mean he's not somebody that i had typically listened to and just recently it's like oh i got this or i'm gathering that but even that is not like all the time and you know we've had seasons where debt sheets was you mm -hmm. know somebody that we mm -hmm. were god had us kind of listening to and um and so it's almost like those are pacers but i feel like also for us with worship mm -hmm. it's like there's just been almost like these pacers of worship in the sense that we've had just seasons where particular artists or groups like we're listening to and then god shifts it and it's like all right yeah, we're was, moving I to different we, we had a hope darst yeah a season, season. <laughs> we have a we have a katie nicole season right now yeah you know that girl's amazing she's got an amazing story herself you know but i feel like the lord has brought in even a uh, a financial pacer mm -hmm. to us this person i'm i might just lose it right here but this person god has sent into our lives 
to bring us a supply like literally every week and it keeps it literally keeps us sustained here the last casting the next video I did it was to it was to not go into debt and so but because I was I mean if it if it has to do with like food and certain things that we need I'm gonna do that first Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, then that's going to put us behind, and you know, all whatever, whatever. But it's like we were able to, we were able to keep moving forward, you know. And it's like, I, and I just, I saw this vision, and I have never, even, I haven't even shared it with the person I'm talking about, or you. Mm -hmm. So this is fresh for everybody. Everybody gather around. <laughs> no, but I just saw this vision of this person. They've been in the audience the whole time. You know, you just been watching and, you know, handing little, not little cups of Gatorade, huge jugs of Gatorade here and there. And it's just like, wow, thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, and then there came this point where they stepped onto the road that we were running and they're just running right alongside of us. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, whoa, Lord what is going on this is amazing like you can just tell this is the lord it's like the lord will do that he will attach people to your life that you don't see coming mm -hmm. you don't know you would not even imagine like oh you know it's not someone who's also a prophetic voice and has a youtube channel and we're collabing and all of that stuff mm -hmm. nope Nope, God's doing things his way. And I tell you what, you get such a beautiful picture of God himself when you allow God to paint the picture. Mm -hmm. You know, don't pick up your little crayons and go, ooh, what if we put something here? Oh, did, no, God wants to paint over what you did. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's like, no, don't try to make it your own picture. Just sit back and let God do the picture. And just sitting back and letting God do the picture, for me personally, can be a big work. Yeah. It can be a big deal to not get myself involved in any way, shape, or form, you know? And so it has been a extremely blessed month, but also extremely difficult. Mm hmm you know, because you also have time frame is in there. The expectation is in there. The Lord, you know, I figured something would be happening by now. Even my kids are saying that. They're like, well, man, I thought something would have been happening by now. But, you know, we keep seeking the Lord. We keep talking to the Lord. We, and he keeps leading. What else are you going to do? Mm -hmm. You know, what, what other advice is someone going to give you other than just being led by the Lord, you know? And it's like, you just have to do that. You have to be led by the Lord. And man, you know, there's so much I want to say right now, but it's like, if the thing that God wants to do is to take you to the cross, are you going to resist that? Well, you might not resist it if you didn't know that that's where he was going. But what if he told you that's where we're going? Would you still cooperate? You see what I'm saying? It's like if God's going, you're going into great suffering. You still going to cooperate? You know what I'm saying? It's like God's like, if you really want to see the, the kingdom of God here on earth as it is in heaven, you have to cooperate with the spirit of God. You have to. And a heart like that. That was that's interested in only doing what God wants to do. God's going to reveal, and then you're going to have to do. You're going to have to obey. You're going to have to. Sometimes I think for some people they love giving, but they don't like receiving much. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And um, and it can be vice versa. You know, it it all depends on what what makes things particularly difficult for you. But for us, man, it's been like a whole rainbow of things. And it's just been very difficult to just keep going. And, and it's not like we've changed the pace of our videos because we're tired or something like that. No, it's just, I, there's been several times where I'm like, oh Lord, we could do a video about, no, don't know. And I was like, oh, we could do a video now about this thing that you're doing about the tabernacles and the walking through. And it's like, no, don't do it. What? What are you talking about? And then I get the sense of like, well, we're gonna do it when it's all over. When it's all over, that's like four days from now. We haven't done a video in like two weeks. It'll be like almost two weeks or something. He's like, and? 
You know, you have to. So that's another one of the areas where I can get tested and tempted to like, I just want to, you know, let everybody know we're here and, and, you know, still bring some encouragement or something and let it, but it's like God's God, you know, God is God, you know, we're just, we are just in his business and we can't, uh, can't do anything without him. You know, apart from me, you can do nothing. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. Man, spoken from the mouth of the Lord himself. You really can't. Mm -hmm. Because if you do, you're seeking your own glory or your own salvation or something for yourself is in there. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, well. And so here we are doing it just at the very time the Lord said (laughs) we were going to do it. So, So, yeah, so we'll just kind of go into, you know, like we were talking about being led by the Spirit. And so as we came into tabernacles, I mean, God was speaking a lot basically throughout the whole time. But one of the things was we... Um, and we have the weather to do it. Oh yes. my gosh. You have it, no idea. Yeah, I mean, if you live in Tennessee, then you have an idea. But, <laughs> but it's been really nice. I think October ends up being like the best month to go outside mm-hmm. pretty much every year but um but yeah so we were um going we just we went to a park and then um the next day so it was on the 17th we went to the park walked around and then you know the kids played and then the next day we went to a different park walked around and the kids played and um and i just like for me i felt like man I feel like we might need to just go to parks literally like every day particularly ones that we had been to um and on our journey because I felt like there was a sense of remembering uh where we've been where God has taken Mm -hmm. us um in different segments and times and seasons of our time here and um and so it just had this idea of like okay well let's just we're gonna just plan to go to these parks um each day and that's pretty much what we did um and it was just very significant i feel Mm -hmm. like you know just that kind of like all of our trips up of up skywalker mountain (laughs) yeah and it was just this like always prophetic feel like god was just like i'm setting this time apart and it's funny because it reminded me actually of 2021 and we did a whole time where it was just walking with the lord we were doing a lot of walking again it was in october and it was yeah oh wow that's hilarious and (laughs) but it was around here because um at that at that time we didn't we uh, had no way of like going places and no transportation and so it was just like okay we're walking and we're just going on these walks but it's like we're with the Lord and there was a song it was like walking with the Lord but this time so it was like I got that phrase you know a walk in the park and you know mm-hmm. it usually talks about like just it's it's going to be so easy like mm-hmm. you know oh that that test it was a walk in the park and but i felt like it was almost like god saying like what he's going to do like him doing miracles in our life it's like a walk in the park it's really easy for him to do it's not mm-hmm. like he's not able i mean he created the whole world mm-hmm. he created us like and and so I think in some ways it's like resetting the, your heart and mind to say, okay, this, this, is, this is not hard for the Lord to do. I think where we kind of get hung up in is like, well, Lord, why aren't you doing it? Right. <laughs> you know, like right. it is easy for you. You can't, you can literally and move totally mountains yeah. and I believe you can. There's no lack of faith on yeah. that area. In that and area. it's like, but Lord, why aren't you? Yeah. You know, but but it was just again it's just trusting the lord and his timing and i think being in a place of humility and saying god we're gonna trust your time we're gonna trust your ways you know we were reading isaiah 55 last night and it's talking about my thoughts are not your thoughts and my ways are higher than your ways Mm -hmm. and it's so true because 
how God moves, how he thinks is totally different than how we move, how we think, you know, things should be done and shouldn't be done. But he knows the future. He knows the the truth. He knows our hearts better than we know ourselves. You know, he truly cares about each and every one of us. And so it was just this really kind of cool experience with the Lord as far as just walking. And we went to um, all these different parks. And then on uh, the seventh day, it was, for me, it was really cool because I really felt like, okay, we're going to do all these parks. And then, a co- like, parks was, that we have history with. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I think it was. Yeah, basically on like the fifth day or something, I really felt like God highlighted three particular parks that are a smaller ones that, you know, we don't normally ever go to very much, but we have been there before and God has taken us to those parks. And I was just like, man, okay, I feel like we need to do all three of them like on that seventh day. Um, and so we did that. And then that night, it was God was just speaking the seven, mm-hmm. and I, we ended yeah. up counting all the parks, and it was we had been to ten, and it was just this like seven ten, and for us that's super significant um, part of our journey. We and it's really about God bringing victory over the enemy. Mm-hmm. It's about um, celebration, yeah, and God stepping in to judge, yeah. You know? And so it was like, wow, that was amazing. And so um, it's like, I call you chosen. Yes. Like, yes. That's the judgment of God for our lives. Yes. We are chosen mm-hmm. to receive his mercy. Yes. It's like, yay. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so it was just such a unique thing, too, because going back to some of these places, we really haven't even been in such a long, long time. time. And it was just, it was just really awesome to be back and to really, you know, even be in nature, be outside, be walking. It's just, Mm -hmm. there's something refreshing for the soul. So even though there's that keep going, keep pushing through type of thing, there is also just like God giving some reprieve of like, hey, but getting outside, walking and just being with the Lord and you know I feel like also there was a lot of even just kind of not reigniting but just like fanning the flames of like what we like and like oh we love this outside and like oh look at that land could you imagine what you could put on that land you know and so it was like kind of re like igniting or fanning the flame turning the turning the dream logs yeah getting more of a a whoosh (laughs) yeah you know (laughs) and so yeah so it was just this really i feel like very purposeful time with the Lord over the last basically eight days of the Feast of Tabernacle Um, because on the eighth day we ended up doing um, the zoo Um, and for us personally whenever God sends us to the zoo it's very significant Um, and it it was just kind of this marker of um, kind of the the end of of that particular time Mm -hmm. but and, and so it was just, it's been really cool because it was just this whole time was just a lot of remembering, talking about the faithfulness of God, um, but then being outside, being, um, just seeing the beauty of all that God created um, mm-hmm. and constantly reminded of like who the Lord is. And we even had a night where we were going through Psalm 119, which for us was also... We read the whole thing. Yeah, we literally read through the whole thing uh, during our God time. And um, and it was reminded us of basically like two years ago when God had us literally walk through the whole Psalm 119 over 11 days. Mm -hmm. And it was just God really speaking um, to our hearts um, 
and we drew pictures with each each psalm and it was just it was good just to remember and to recall and see Mm -hmm. like wow god you have truly filled us up with so many um just good things good words Mm -hmm. um truth revelation throughout this entire journey yeah and and so I just felt like, you know, yesterday was kind of the, the conclusion. And there was already, I feel like a, I feel like there's been a shifting. We started seeing the 59s and already it's like, okay, we're turning. Mm-hmm. There's, God is turning in a different way and what he's going to be speaking and doing. And so mm-hmm. we're kind of seeing that unfold. Like, okay, God, where are we headed? <laughs> yeah. And I feel like with the whole going to all the different parks we have so much history with those parks and it's a part of that tabernacle spirit of the festival or the feast of tabernacles in a sense of remembering the wilderness Mm -hmm. that god brought you out of and how he brought you through and how he carried you on eagle's wings and and all of that and provided the manna and all that it's just like there's so many moments and testimonies and places and all that stuff and and i feel like with going out to all these different parks it was like the lord was just like saying like and and putting a stamp on us of saying like hey i've called you to touch the land Mm -hmm. i've called you to be planted here in the land um he didn't call us to go and walk around downtown Nashville or to go and pray over buildings of commerce or anything like that. No, he's like, I want mm-hmm. a tree needs to be planted in the land. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like the Lord was just doing that. He was just showing us like this is the this is the heart of this family. You guys are you guys are like outdoors country people you just was born at the wrong place in the wrong time no i'm just kidding (laughs) (laughs) but but that really is our heart just to touch the land but god's like i'm going to use you to touch the land Mm -hmm. and 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 these very specific family type communities that uh, exist around here and i'm just praying and believing that god is going to be doing a resurrecting of the family Mm -hmm. a birthing of the family a reuniting of the family you know um and of course it's going to be all in his time and his way and how he wants to do it he knows the building uh, blueprints of what he wants yep. to do and the process and the process and you know and how we fit into that process but it's just interesting that during this time because when you go to a park it also reminds you of a wilderness so to speak because it's just a bunch of land and there's really not much there i mean unless you put like a you know a little what are they called a little play yeah play, play things and, and stuff like that apart from that it's just land and so there's a reminder of the wilderness but it's also green and it's got the play structures so it reminds you of coming into a different time of like where there's activity and fun and things to do mm-hmm. you know in a true wilderness there's literally nothing to do um and we've had a lot of that nothing to do ness mm-hmm. you know and so I just feel like that's what God's saying with all of that. It's like, and then we end up at the zoo because we have a we have a zoo pass. It's not like we're forking out cash for that every time we go there. We have a zoo pass, and so we can you can just go anytime you want. You go, you you buy a pass, you go twice, it's paid for. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we've probably been like 15 times, <laughs> and so you just go. And even there, we were just walking. Yeah, we did all. It's funny because, well, it's funny because they do have like the carousel and Mm -hmm. you know things like that there. But we didn't do any of that. We literally walked, and then they played at the park, Mm -hmm. which is it was literally what we've been doing. Which (laughs) really is a call to our. It's a uh, hearkening or a kind of like a 
spotlight symbolism of what God's called us to do. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the animals go, each of, you know the visions and the the ideas that the, that God wants us to bring out of the invisible and into the visible, they all have these animal pictures to them. Yeah, <laughs> you know these. We've drawn the vision. Here's what the vision of God is for this, and here's what the vision. This is what God's saying over this, and you have like this basically. And so we take this animal. This animal represents that vision, and so what you have is like a Noah's Ark full of vision. Mm -hmm. You know, and then when you release it, you just you have a zoo, a mm -hmm. vision, yeah. and it's really cool. And I mean, it's going to take the Lord. It's going to take the Lord. See, a lot of times we talk about the money that it's going to take. It's going to take more than money. It's going to take people. You know, mm -hmm. it's going to take just, we're going to, we're going to stand back and see what God's going to build, you know, but it is going to take it a, a crazy amount of money, a crazy amount of people. And not only that, but they're going to need to be the right people. Mm -hmm. They're going to be good people. But the Lord has promised that when we begin to build, he will send the people. I'm like, wow. So praise the Lord because mm -hmm. it's his doing, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all that we have for you guys today, and um, I do pray that you are this blessed. This video was a walk in the park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do pray that you are blessed and that you're encouraged, and um, mm -hmm. I pray that you just remember what God has done. And, and keep going. And keep going. Don't stop running mm -hmm. unless you're unconscious. <laughs> that's about to help. You're done then. <laughs> and then when you get revived... Get up and keep on running. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the finish line? No? Keep on running. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just keep keep going. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, until next time, guys, we love you, and we'll talk to you soon. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.